we need to get a commitment that with the African, the help of the African Union, that we're going to sort out the visa issue once and for all. In South Africa, it's very important that we sort it out as soon as possible. Because from January 2022 to December 2022, out of the 5.7 million tourists that arrived, 4 million came from Africa. So can you imagine if we sort out this visa obstacle once and for all? We can certainly benefit as South Africa. Our president last year, August last year, uh, launched several measures, 20 measures to accelerate the economy in Mozambique. And some of those measures, they are strictly for tourism. Um, so Mozambique, since last December, is implementing the e-visa. Now, since the uh, 1st of May, we have the exemption of visa for 29 countries besides the whole SADC countries, of course. Security threat, yes, is there. We've got people who are entrusted to sort out security. But we as tourism should be able to now focus on how to invite as many people as you possibly can in your country. Now, for Africa, unfortunately, reciprocity still remains a problem. Is it the, ask the ministers of tourism? Is it our colleagues from the Minister of Foreign Affairs to deal with it? But I strongly feel we need to champion it as ministers in charge of tourism so that we get as many people as we possibly can in our country. I'm, I'm happy to say that as, as Zimbabwe in the last two years, we've really seen a growing number of airlines from the region uh, having direct flights into Zimbabwe. I think from the Sadak countries, we have close to 85% now of the countries having direct flights into, into Zimbabwe. When budget is tabled, most of the people look at tourism down. So let's fight for our budget in, in all African countries that they should consider tourism to be a, a very important uh, sector.